What is going on microdonal friends? It's your friend Jack here and in today's video we're going to be going over a complete tutorial on how to set up a mobile wallet for Cardano related dApps and specifically how to buy Cardano NFTs from your mother freaking phone. With that being said, let's get right into the video. I also want to mention this will not be limited to just buying Cardano NFTs. You will also be able to in the future and at the moment access other dApps other than JPEG store being a NFT marketplace like MinSwap and some other DEXs that do support mobile operations using Eternals wallet. So with that being said, first things first, we're not going to be doing this on desktop. We're going to be using our phone today so we can go ahead, minimize this and start up our phone and pretty much just go right into it. We're going to open up our phone you are going to want to go to the app store and we're going to download the wallet for today now after we've gotten to the app store simply type in eternal wallet spelled like this and it is going to be the formerly cc vault one so there may be scams up here at some point make sure you're downloading this one by taskin cusk gmbh if you're not doing that then it is likely a scam. And if you import another wallet, they can steal your seed phrase and your assets. So be wary of what one you're getting. Make sure you're getting the correct one. If you want to double check, you can always go to Eternal's website and then click the direct download link from there. To be safe, you can go to eternal.io. You can see the link at the top here. Click in the top right, then click on the App Store iOS button right here. It's going to then load up the iPhone version. You can see it is the same one that we just looked at formerly ccvault.io, you're going to press get and you are going to install it on your direct iPhone or whatever. Maybe you have an Android that would work too. After you have it installed, simply go ahead, open it up and we are going to be creating a new wallet today. You can import an existing wallet if you would like. That does work too. If you know how to do that, basically you have a seed phrase written down on paper and you bring that over here when you press open wallet and add wallet. You're going to click the restore wallet option or import um, an old wallet. But today we're going to be creating a wallet. If you have a hardware wallet that is connected through Bluetooth or can connect to your phone, you can use it here as well. We're just going to be creating a hot wallet, essentially where the wallet is stored on our local device that we're using the wallet in. And it's encrypted with the spending password we set at the time of importing the seed phrase. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to press create wallet. And we're going to name it, we're going to enter a password, uh, phone wallet, we're going to name it, and then our password, it doesn't really matter what you make it, um, because you're the only person who's going to be spending this. So set a password and then press save, press that save button. And then you're going to see how much accounts you want. Basically, how much accounts you want is going to be generally just one for most people. If you want some more, um, you can add these later. But this will also increase the sync time of your wallet. So keep that in mind. The more accounts you have, the longer it's going to take to sync. We're just going to start off with one for now. And then we're going to go ahead and click one, save it up. And now we are going to have that a warning basically saying nobody can see your screen. If anyone can see this next screen, they're going to be able to get into the wall you're creating right now. So this is going to give us 24 words to write down. Write this down on paper. Please, please, please do not store on your device. Do not store it anywhere else but on paper. Unless it's a wallet that you're okay with losing, do not store anywhere but on paper. Now go ahead, press continue, and then you're going to see a screen of words here that you have to write down on paper. Now my words, I'm showing them here, but do not show any of these words. They're likely going to be blurred in this video too, but do not show anyone these words. Make sure you've written these down and then press this button. Yes, I wrote it down carefully and press continue. After that, it is going to ask you to write all the words back in in order to make sure you do have them written down correctly, and then you can pr press continue again. Okay, after you've entered all your words in the correct order, make sure you have it written down on paper. Do not store this anywhere but paper. Click the understand that the only way to recover this is using this basically seed phrase we just written down. Otherwise, if you do not have this and you don't have it stored on your local device, you will be out of your wallet and you'll never get those assets again. So click continue once you understand that. It's going to take a minute. It's going to create your first account. And now you can see we have an account on eternal. Now all we have to do here is fund the account. You can do this in any way you want. In my opinion, I would use my local exchange or an existing wallet that I have with ADA in it. In this case, we're going to do the second. If you want to buy and transfer ADA from an exchange, 
All you have to do either way, it's the same way if you're sending it from an from a different area is go to here and find your receive address wherever it may be. I'm not sure. Um, it's going to take a minute for me to find out. You can see there it is the fourth tab in at the top that we have our address. All you have to do is copy this right here and we're going to then paste it wherever we want to send this. So we'll tell the exchange that this is the address that we want the ADA in or our other wallet and then go ahead and fund this account through that method. In my case, I'm going to be using NAMI wallet, simply click send, then paste in the address that we just got from our phone wallet in this spot right here. And I'm going to send myself at least 15 ADA because I will also have to cover the cost of collateral setting. So keep that in mind when you want to use smart contract based systems. For now, there is a five ADA collateral also. So that's going to be stored in your wallet. It's for your safety but you will have to use it to enable smart contract capability in pretty much all wallets at the moment. So I'm going to send this address, double check the last three digits from my phone and on where I'm sending it from and then press send, type in the password wherever you're sending it from. Or if you're from an exchange, it's going to ask you for confirmations of your account. Once that is done, once it has submitted, it may take a minute, but if you wait a little bit, it will show up on your phone wallet and then we can get to actually spending that data and buying some NFTs or using dApps on Cardano from our phone. Okay, so after waiting a minute, our funds have came into our wallet on our phone and we can go ahead and we can set collateral as I mentioned before. Simply go to the last tab, the settings, and go down here and click on collateral. Now. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead and head over to JPEG store. Now, the easiest way to do that, in my opinion, is to go to the top right and click on this little icon right here. This one, the third one in or the most left one. And then we're going to press connect as DAP account with the account we want to use for connecting to JPEG store in this case or whatever other DAP you may be using. Maybe you're using like MinSwap or another DEX. Click connect and then go to DAP browser. Now you could also go to JPEG store. This is the easiest way, in my opinion, to do it. You just do it right on the app. Let's go to JPEG store. It's going to log us in and it's going to connect our wallet immediately. No hassles there. It's going to take a minute just to take the connection. Now we can go ahead and we can actually buy Cardano NFTs. Now, right now, we only have about 10 ADA to spend. So we're going to have to find one that is a bit cheaper. What I like to do when I'm testing around is to get a Hosky NFT. Let's go ahead. Let's see the floor is seven. We can afford one. Luckily, let's get this one. It's brown. It's cool. And we simply just click buy NFT. Now it's going to take a second. It's going to create the contract. And I do have a pending transaction right now because of collateral. So if you just set your collateral, make sure that it goes through first before you try to do something. Otherwise, you won't be able to buy something. So I'm going to wait a sec. Likely, if you're following me, you will have to wait a sec too, and then try buying this again. So side note, turns out when you enable collateral on Eternal, it is going to lock up your first UTXO's balance. So in this case, I have disabled collateral for now. I'm going to send myself a smaller amount to split up the UTXOs, as complicated as this may sound. And then we're going to be able to put on collateral and then buy the asset on JPEG store. So all you have to do to do that, I'm going to walk you through it, is go ahead down here. You can see at the bottom, we're going to send to this account, which is just an in, inside wallet transaction. We're going to go down here and you can see now it is total available 15 ADA before it was locked as collateral in the UTXO. We're going to send six of it to ourselves just to split up the UTXOs. Then we're going to enter our spending password and press sign. So once this goes through, we can then go back and enable collateral. But as you can see here in the pending section, this transaction is now pending. It's just going to take a minute and then we will be able to go over and re-enable collateral, go back to JPEG store and buy the asset. Okay, now that the transaction is cleared, we can go over here and click on the settings in the very right side, go back, enable collateral and scroll down. You can see here, our balance for our collateral UTXO is six ADA. Now I believe we could have just sent five and that would have been our lowest UTXO, I would have used that, but I just used six for now. But now when we go back to our wall, we can also see we have 8.8 ADA available and six ADA locked in collateral. So there we go. Now we can go ahead, proceed to JPEG store, and we don't have to worry about that six ADA in collateral anymore, as you won't be able to send it from our wallet. It is set there. It'll allow us to enable with that or interact with dApps, and we don't have to worry about it again. So let's go ahead. Let's head back over to the dApp store by clicking the top right and clicking on the dApp browser, clicking on JPEG store, and you can see it's still loaded our Hosky. Now we can click buy. 
and it also may pop up with this again because we just set collateral and wait one more time. I would cut this part, but I think it is important to know that things do come up when you're creating a mobile wallet. And also it's good to know how to get around them, how I solve them, and just how you may get stuck in this process as it is kind of straightforward, but it is very easy to get lost too if you don't know what you're doing. Okay, now we waited some time and our transactions have cleared. I even added a bit of extra ADA to the account just in case, and we can go ahead and I did have to restart the app, keep that in mind, uh, that did end up helping. And we're gonna buy a GM NFT instead of the Hosky because Hoskies are poop, uh, sorry Hosky. And these ones were also free, minted by me, so we're just gonna go and grab another one. I do have a lot of these, but I do think they're fun, and GM, 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 whatever, whatever. Go ahead, find the NFT you want, click buy, as simple as that. And it's gonna prompt you in Eternal to put in your spending password, put in your password, click sign, and make sure that you're getting what you want. In this case, we're getting the NFT, we're sending them five ADA, and that's pretty much what's going on right here. So make sure you're getting what you want from this transaction, and then enter your spending password and click sign. After you've clicked sign, it's gonna take a second, and it should basically say that the transaction has been processed. Now, once it says this, you can go ahead to the top right, and you can go and see somewhere where your transactions are. You may have to click this little wallet icon here, go to your profile, and then you can see your NFTs for sale. And then if you go all the way to the right, your activity. So you can see we have purchased this on the left-hand side. There's a little icon with a little clock. That means it's in progress. And that's pretty much it. That's how you buy NFTs from your phone on JPEG store or on Cardano rather. You can also go ahead, you can minimize this. You can see we can use the artifact NFT marketplace, the epoch.art. NFT marketplace, uh, CNFT jungle tool, which does have marketplaces integrated for buying, some other websites, Ada Warriors, Chip and Dago Heroes. You can also use Sunday Swap and MinSwap, the two DEXs that have support for this feature if you want to not only get Cardano NFTs, but also get Cardano native assets and tokens. Just before we go today, I wanna to show you how you can view your assets a few ways on your phone, just so you can actually see what NFTs you have. First off, you can go to JPEG store, you can go to your profile, and you can see your NFTs here. This works great. You can also then click on them, see the traits and all that good stuff. You know, how much percent do these things have? How rare are they? And also what you can do is go ahead to your account right here, click on the top, find your address, which may take a bit more to get to. Basically find the address, the fourth tab in, copy that up, and then go over to your Chrome tab. We're gonna open this up, go to pool PM. You can see it's right here. And then go to the top right once this shows up and paste in that address we just copied right here. And then when we press go, you can see our NFT is already in our wallet. This is another great way to view your NFTs. It's very simple. And that is pretty much it for the video today. If you guys want to support the channel, you can go ahead and stake with the Jack stake pool. You can also do this with the Eternal Wallet by simply going ahead and opening up the Eternal Wallet, clicking on the staking tab and choosing the Jack stake pool here. If you don't want to do that, that's fine too. But if you are going to have some ADA lying around, I do recommend staking it so you can earn passive ADA on your ADA and never locks up and all that good stuff. Anyways, if you want more information on staking, it'll be down in the description. Anyways, that's it for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please smash the like button and I'll see you guys in the next video.